We've got a bunch of solar panels here. We've got a Sun Power folding 100 watt panel, and this is the one that comes in a nylon case, so it's really lightweight. This is the uh, Renogy Eclipse 100 watt solar suitcase, so it's got made out of glass and aluminum, and that folds up too. I've got a don't know the name brand, I bought it used. It's a binder style solar panel. This is my oldest panel, I bought it like three years ago. The Sun Power I bought about a year ago, the Renogy I just picked up. And up here we've got some awesome Goal Zero 100 watt panels. And we're just gonna be using that one, which is rated at 100 watts. Now as you can see, they're all laying flat. Oops, they're all laying flat. And the sun is almost overhead directly, not quite. And we're going to input them into a Yeti 1400 lithium. And first we're going to put them into the MPPT charge controller, and then we're going to try them into the PWM charge controller and just see what we get. So we'll start with... Let's go the same order you just announced. Uh, okay, so we'll start with the uh, sun power. Okay. So here's the sun power. And we're going to get, oh, there's a lot of glare, I don't know if you can see that, but that helps, yeah, doing that helps, yeah. Okay, this pin, 44 watts. Okay, so that's the sun power, 43, 44 watts. Okay, and now we'll try the Renogy. Oh, and by the way, the uh, battery is at about 80% capacity, and it's under load. It's drawing about 9 amps. It's putting out about 9 amps to a uh, pool pump. Okay, so here we go. So this is the Renogy, and it's outputting 66 watts. So that's the Renogy. That's the Renogy Eclipse Solar Suitcase we just did at 66 watts. So now we'll try the binder... We're doing the binder? Yeah, now we're doing the binder solar panel. Again, this is going into the MPPT charge controller. And now we are getting, out of the binder, we're getting 50, 56 watts. Okay, so now we're going to try the Goal Zero 100 watt panel. So 56 watts, 44 watts, and 60 something watts for the Renogy. And here's the Goal Zero panel, 63 watts. So yeah, that's nice. So the Goal Zero and the Renogy are the, the best performers. Now I'm going to switch it to the MPPT. No, oh no, the PWM. Now we're going to go to PWM just to see the difference. So this was 63 watts in the MPPT charge controller. And in the PWM we're getting 56 watts, 54 watts, 56 watts. Okay, and that's off the Goal Zero panel. <clears throat> we're gonna go backwards, so we're doing the binder. Okay, so now we're doing the binder. So now we're doing the binder solar panel into the built-in MPPT charge controller of this Yeti 1400. Not MPPT. I'm sorry, PWM. Sorry, we're going to the PWM. Okay. And we've got 48, 47 watts, 50 watts. So that's the binder okay, going into PWM. Now we're gonna do the Renogy, the Renogy solar suitcase right there. Okay. And the Renogy is outputting 50, 60, 60 watts. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. 60 watts in the PWM. So 60 watts for that Renogy going into the Goal Zero PWM charge controller. So now we're doing the Sun Power folding solar panel also rated at 100 watts and see it go up to 48 47 48 watts okay so there 
very interesting. So now you can compare all four solar panels going into two different kinds of charge controllers. Cool. Thanks for watching. Uh, we've hooked up all the panels now. All four of these four 100 watt Goal Zero panels. The Sun Power folding panel, the Renogy 100 watt Eclipse folding suitcase, and the No Name Ran. I don't know how many watts it is. And they are all plugged into the Yeti 400. You can see here I've got all the non Goal Zero panels plugged into the PWM charge controller and all the Goal Zero panels, these four Goal Zero panels are going into the MPPT charge controller of this Yeti 1400 and we are putting, let's see here, 445 watts into the Yeti. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Excellent.